One hundred years ago, a generation was sent universally to die at the diktat of the kings, kaisers, tsars, and colonial masters who chose to destroy a continent. Unlike the Second World War, there was no cause behind their deaths. There was no grand struggle of good and evil, just horror and bloodshed. The generation that endured this is quite possibly the bravest the world has ever known. Over the next four years, every country involved in the First World War is going to have its own tributes to its own brave boys and their equally brave sisters, wives and mothers. Very little will be said of the fact that the only two sides discernible from the trenches were those dying and those sending them to die. I want to tell this story. Instead of the tale of a particular nation or a particular soldier, I want to show the universal experience, a world's eye view of how everyone's drama was the same, was horrific, and how the tragedy continued long after the guns fell silent. My generation knows nothing about the First World War, and they need to. Not the British war experience, nor the French, the Russian, the Turkish, the Australian, the South African, the Indian, all of it. This was a transnational travesty. Current and future generations need to understand the displacement it caused for all nations involved. A hundred years ago, before the war, artists still believed it was possible to depict a unified sense of what life was like. World War I put paid to that, led to the modernism of Schoenberg in music, of Eliot in poetry. My last major work, the Bernhardt Suite, sought to create a new music, a new language that reintroduced the tonality modernism destroyed. I believe it's the job of art to create the grand, overarching sense of what we all have in common. That's what all of my previous orchestral works have sought to do, and more than anything I've produced, that's what this work will do. I want to create a symphony to a lost generation. It will use choir and orchestra and depict the First World War as it was, factually and emotionally. Depict all those who died and those who, broken, continued living. It will use sound to depict the emotional experience of a world that needs to be understood and accurately recalled. I don't believe that a horror show of this sort can never happen again. I believe it must never happen again. I want to show exactly how it was.